In one word, how would you describe your style? Outrageous. You could have lunch with any artist, living or dead. Who would it be? George O'Keefe. And what would you be eating? Steaks. These are funny questions. <laughs> Describe an ideal day in Coronado. Ideal day. I have the most magnificent garden and it has walls and walls of green all around. And the best day of my life is when I sit at my back table and I have all my jewelry implements or elements around me and I'm making amazing jewelry and being inspired by everything in my garden. That's the perfect day and a glass of iced tea. What's the hardest thing about being an artist? I think not so much anymore but in the beginning was because I sell it you know were people's critique of it when you know when they didn't really get it because I was making some really outrageous things and people sometimes were kind of critical about it. I don't find that true so much anymore. In fact, I think it's kind of fun when people have an opinion because some of my things are just so outlandish that if they weren't a little bit taken off guard by it, I'd probably think it's just too pedestrian and then I'd sort of lost my soul. Describe the first piece of jewelry you remember making. Well, this is kind of a little story, but I'm going to tell it real quick. There was a woman that came in my shop. She was from Des Moines, Iowa, believe it or not. And she was, she had on the most magnificent jewelry you'd ever seen that she had made. She was a jewelry designer. And she said, if you really want to learn how to make jewelry, because at that time I was just buying jewelry from all over the world and bringing it back and selling it. She said, if you want to know how to make jewelry, if you'll come to Des Moines, I'll teach you how to make jewelry. So for, I went, she was shocked I came. And for an entire week, I made the same necklace and she would take it apart and put it back together her teaching me all of the crafts and all of the tricks and all of the techniques for making jewelry. And it was a it was a lemon quartz necklace, I'll never forget it. And I sold it just like that and it's gone. What's your favorite material to work with? Uh, it's, it's, it's all the organic stones. I like druzies and I like labradorite and I like, I like really organic pieces. What do you listen to in your studio? Ah, oh, Adele and Bette Midler. <laughs>